えっ、ー、えっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっえっ Oh god, they got us in for a loophole. Andy, do something to start the video! No. Scientific fraud is the most baffling thing ever to me. Like, do they think they're just going to make a huge breakthrough and no one will notice that it's fake by trying to replicate the results? Yeah, actually, I just discovered how to turn plastic into gold. Oh,、uh、oh, you want to know how I did it? Starts running away cutely. God's greatest punishment was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was actually putting one trillion cool rocks in Earth so that we might never run dry of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. One of my students downloaded an image for a project today and named it Before My Eyes PNG.JPEG. Can, can you just expel a kid for that? Hey, I'm gonna go sleep. Can you watch my apple while I'm gone? Thanks. Oops. Took a wrong turn somewhere. I took a nap and I woke up and all these goddamn spiders! My favorite activity is looking outside the window over the back of the couch with my dog. And barking at the children walking past. You! Yes, you! You get me! Some straight guys are absurd. I once asked one if they'd kiss a boy for $50,000 and they said no. At that point, it's not even gay, it's just the best option! She's a lesbian girl now, if anyone wanted an update. <gasps> oh my god. If a computer girl was transgender, would she go on CRT? Hmm, component replacement therapy. They're upgrading their GPU, girl processing unit. Pronouns in BIOS.、Uh... I cannot stress enough to Tumblr that they do not need to change the site. Do not try to be like Twitter. Do not try to be like Reddit. Do not alter how the site works. Tumblr will be the most popular social media site if they continue letting all these other sites implode. And leave the frog button. It's good. I just don't like masculine women. Oh, literally, I'm so sorry for your loss. I hope you get well soon. Can you imagine not liking muscular women? What's wrong with you? God, I hope she steps on me. The Korok crucifixion posts are even funnier when you remember that Link is the only one that can see them. People of Hyrule will see this boy drag an empty cross behind him and think, ah. He's finally lost it, huh? I'm pretty sure they were already thinking that in Breath of the Wild. Reblog the Money Pigeon for a financially stable future. I reblog the Money Pigeon because I love him. Look at him. Hmm, Shorty got them evil bottom jeans. Boots with the curse, the curse they say. The whole necropolis was looking at her, and then she hit the flower wall. It's unreal how all of my favorite characters have exactly the same traits and hobbies and diagnoses as me. Oh. Have you been tricked into loving yourself? Oh my fucking god, is that what just happened? Greek mythology, but instead of punishing the girl Zeus cheated on her with, Hera befriends them and Zeus goes insane, living in constant fear that his wife and his mistresses are plotting against him. Oh, that would make for such a more amusing story, Kimmy. Hello, fanfic writers, it's time for a vocab lesson. Wanton, sexually immodest and promiscuous. Wonton, a type of dumpling commonly found in Chinese cuisines. Your character should not be moaning like a Chinese dumpling, okay? Thank you and good night. Either way, things are gonna get. <sighs> is steamy. Get out! Me watching the Olympics. Where, where's Mario and Sonic? Where are they? Everyone, stop what you're doing immediately! Look at this baby bunny! Look at it! Look at its tiny ears! Oh my god, it's too small for this cool world! Guarantee you, there's someone in the comments right now thinking about putting that rabbit in their mouth. Don't. Showers don't cut it anymore. I need to be pressure washed. Just peel that skin right off me. Yes, hello, I am an official real tumbler. I like to do things like Plinko the horse and observe the Lorbo shows. I'm blending in so good. Oh no, Randy, your, your, your stickies. It's my opinion, so instantly vaporized by the beam. Rest in pepperoni, Pucky. We knew ye well. Pucky is still alive, but just a Mr. Chaos, isn't he? Yep. If the air is wibbly wobbly next to something that is meant to be normal, then you should stay away from that thing. 
It's probably hot or radioactive. I just realized the first Cars movie and the first Thor movie have the exact same plot. I want an explanation now. A man on the road to greatness ends up lost in a small desert town with seemingly no hope of getting back to the life he knows. Over time, he falls in love with someone there and learns to be humble. With this character development complete, he's able to return to his life, never forgetting the people in that desert town. Oh my god, stop! No, 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 no! Behold, a super wiener. It is an exceptionally large elephant seal at weaning age. Super wieners may reach their large size by stealing milk from nursing female elephant seals or by being adopted by an additional mother elephant seal. This guy may look like a super wiener to some, but he is a super winner to me. His doleful eyes and violently self-destructive tendencies have captivated me. I want him. A Japanese slash Italian inspired demon. A Tony, if you will. An exceptionally large one at that. If you wash the dirt from a fallen ice cube, are you using your water with water and hope that there's only water on the water you will add to your water? But what if I'm drinking tea? Who puts ice in their tea? What the fuck? Oh shit, it's a British person! Take your iced tea and run! You know how in musicals the couples will start singing the same song no matter how far apart they are? What if that happened in real life? What if you were just at a restaurant one day and you started randomly singing because your soulmate decided to sing a duet in the shower? Oh my god, what if this is why you get a song stuck in your head? Because your soulmate is singing it somewhere! <gasps> it. Got. Better. Jesus Christ! I don't want to be soulmates with someone who keeps singing Cotton Eye Joe. Or do you? Gaze, lend me your strength. I shall give you my soul, and you will be the most powerful gay to ever gay. Thank you so much. Lesbians, lend me your strength. I give you my heart. So you can have the power of all the lesbians and be even more gay than before. I am forever in your debt. Aces, lend me your strength! I give you my essence. So that why you possess the power of gay as well as not having just one, but many aces of power up your sleeve. I owe you my life. Transgender and non-binary folks, lend me your strength! I give you my titties because I don't fucking want them. Behold, the Scrimblow Basket. A scream basket. I love it. You know, we have seen PM Seymour end his videos with silly little noises, but I think it's time we switch things up a bit. Now, I don't know if he'll actually see this, but if, keyword if, he does, because I know the guy's a busy guy, I want to see him end a video with silly Minecraft villager noises. Hmm. Huh. I don't know about that one. Hmm? Y'all are here talking about wizards on Tumblr. I don't think there are actually any wizards on Tumblr. Hey, wizards on Tumblr, how about your proof? Yeah, you must not wish, yeah, Lord. For the sake of YouTube, do not unreverse that. I want an unreblog button. When you press it, it unreblogs the post from one account. That sounds amazing and terrifying. Daily checklist of affirmations. One, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. Three, nothing wrong with me. Four, nothing wrong with me. Four, something's got to do. Today I learned that the word hello only began being used as a greeting when the telephone was invented, credited as a suggestion by Thomas Edison to be used when answering the phone. Alexander Graham Bell, his competitor, preferred ahoy. They took ahoy from us. Another cringe moment from Edison himself. Writing prompt. Four roommates are extraterrestrials who have taken human form in the hopes of learning about Earth's culture. Unfortunately, each alien is from a different planet and believes the other three are normal humans. I would read this. Oh my god. Starring Jack Black, The Rock, Jeff Goldblum, and Taika Waititi. And Mads Mikkelsen, the human neighbor that is weird enough that all the aliens think he's an alien too. You know, we've seen him end and now start the video. The natural continuation is, Andy, please continue the video. Anyone else find it extremely weird whenever they hear birds chirping in the middle of the night? Like, do you have any idea what time it is? You should have been in bed hours ago. What you doing? Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never met ibuprofen. Actually, literally accurate. The song originates in the 1949 musical Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, while ibuprofen was invented in 1961. It's time to change history. When I was in post-op after top surgery, I had a good friend there with me to help recover. But the nurse didn't get the memo, and when I woke up, she was like, Okay, I'm gonna go get your girlfriend and bring her in to see you. 
And I remember being so zonked on anesthesia and so disoriented, I just laid there thinking, wow, all that and they're bringing me a girlfriend too? This place is amazing. Can you imagine that's how it worked though? Congratulations on your top surgery. Here is your medically prescribed girlfriend. Throwback to the time my classics professor asked, does anyone know who Sappho is? And I immediately replied, she's the OG lesbian. And my professor yelled, exactly, and wrote the OG lesbian on the whiteboard. Best professor. This website is basically the seagulls from Finding Nemo, except they say mood instead of mine. Mood? Hey, you know that trope where a guy ends up being destined to do some great task that a woman spent her whole life preparing for and she must train him until he surpasses her and he eventually beats her while sparring in their sexual tension? Mulan is that dynamic, but reverse. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Where are my notes? Y'all know I'm right. Hey, stop putting raisins in things I would otherwise enjoy eating. You are being unreasonable. How dare you make me read this with my own two eyes? Me every day of my stupid little life. If I don't get a little treat in the next five minutes, I'm going to die. Hmm. Tamagotchi core. Come on! Sometimes the only way I know my roommate is still alive is the $30 cheese that appears and disappears from my fridge. Mouse roommate. Rat behavior. No reviews are in. Weaseling my way out of a one-sided fairy bargain with a masterwork of circuitous logic. The Elf Lord congratulates me for my cleverness in a tone of genuine admiration, then immediately stabs me in the face. <gasps> Not the face, that's where the thinky thoughts are! A genuinely how to use Tumblr? What do you post about? Do you just do whatever on there, like how you do it on Twitter? It just feels like so much more... professional. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker said professional! Andy, get everyone to point and laugh at him! Do you ever just meet someone who's like the human version of unnecessary comments on text posts? Yes. Mm, there's a special place in hell reserved just for me. It's called the throne. <laughs> Bisexual? You mean you're experimenting? Kicks test tubes an alien hybrid under a desk. Uh, no, 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 what do you mean? I touch myself whenever I think about you. More specifically, I rub my temples because I get a headache because you're awful. You can follow me for the fandom you enjoy, but watch out! I think some of you need to eat a slice of cheesecake and listen to ambient rain noises for 10 hours. I never once had a slice of cheesecake in my life. In fact, I thought it was something that only existed on the IPU, iCarly Pearpad Universe. I, I want to study you. Well, for a lab. Why would I need a dog? These are actual people online. <laughs> me, coming to terms with the truth about myself. Hmm. Unfortunate. The dumbest thing is when parents say, this isn't how I raised you. Like, yes, it, it really is. You literally raised me, and here I am. Fuck you doing? There's something deeply, fundamentally wrong with you. Can we kiss? Girl, that is not lol calling three. That is concerning and manipulative. Daily quests. Survive for 10 minutes with a werewolf. In a fight. If you thought of something else, you gotta like, comment, and subscribe right now. I did not baby girlify that man. Look at him. He's doing it all himself. Now I don't want to victim blame, but maybe if he didn't want to be called baby girl, he shouldn't have been such a baby girl. Just a thought. You know what I mean? This amazing sculpture is called The Caring Hand and is located in Glarus, Switzerland. It's, it's a palm tree. I hate you. Um, pining lesbian ghost who does things for her very oblivious crush. I is this anything? Andy, write it down. I want to stick my hand in it, but no, I do not. Something terrible in me wants to flip this table. So, my new English professor is my uncle, only he has no idea because he hasn't talked to my mom in about 20 years. So, do you think I should tell him? You know what? Never mind. He's a dick. I'm gonna go talk to my mom to get dirt on him so I can blackmail him if the need arises. You should write a story about a boy for an assignment that includes loads of life details about him that your mom tells you so that it's obviously him, but change all the names, then hand it in and be really confused if he questions you about it. Oh my god. Power move. 
Duolingo has more gay representation than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Can you please elaborate? There are more gay characters on Duolingo than the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, w was that not, was that hard to follow? Me drinking a glass of water and a glass of coke at the same time. A sip of the substance that connects me to my ancient ancestors. And a sip of edible battery acid. You know, I've met some pricks in my time, but you are the fucking cactus. I just left my job. I couldn't work for a man after what he said to me. What did he say? You're fired! Why do text posts these days sound like vaudeville humor? Seeing a black and white cow is always so damn awesome. It's like, oh, hey, I know that guy from my kindergarten ABCs. It's him. I love how the monkey from Aladdin is just called dad if you translate Abu. Are you telling me that he calls the monkey daddy? All right, that's, that's enough. That's enough internet. Andy, blow up this post with your mind. And the video, thank you. Okay, bye. This is the only, this is the only thing in our new apartment so far. What else do you need? I mean, look, it's perfect. We all love urban fantasy, but we have to contend with the fact that if monsters were real, some of them would be normies. Your werewolf boyfriend posts on LinkedIn. The tentacle horror you've been thirsting after as a Disney adult. You did it. You made unimaginable horror within man-made comprehension. When I was but a wee baby high schooler, I made this on my school-issued Chromebook and posted it to my OG Tumblr blog. And I just knew, in my heart, it would do numbers. But alas, it only got one note. Me on my other blog. We can fix what once went wrong. How does Tumblr even work? Do you just, like, talk to yourself until people are like, oh, you know what? I like this one. This is exactly how it works. So please stop asking me how to how to use Tumblr. That's it. That's it right there. Ah, oh, I see. The slutty library of Alexandria is down. Hmm. Don't like that. Fandom-wide mandate that everyone has to re-watch the source material in steady intervals to minimize intense fandomization of tropes and characterizations that happens when people go without new source material for too long. Like renewing a license to practice every few years. That's, that's a really good idea, actually. Hey, PM Seymour, when will the Fiona only fans come in? <laughs> From the moment I saw you, I knew I was going to spend the rest of my life avoiding you. People need to learn the difference between Muppets and The Muppets. A Muppet is a style of puppet created by Jim Henson. The Muppets, trademark, are a dysfunctional polycule of vaudeville performers, all of whom also happen to be Muppets. Did it hurt when I told you to Google it and I was right? Walking into an obscure fandom like, hey. This trash can ain't big enough for the two of us. Stop saying you're investing in posts. I don't make jokes for any kind of economy. Banker-like behavior of you. Nurturing this post while it's young. Supporting and cherishing this post in its infancy. Of course you have blue skills and cooldowns. Hey! Shut your mouth! Hmm, would be asleep right now, but there are fictional characters to imagine in emotional situations. Uh, you know how it is. Me at 15. Why do my parents watch fucking HGTV all day? Me at 25. Damn! The grainy countertops really do make that kitchen pop. You never respond to my ask. I'm kind of peeved. Not gonna lie here. Oh, gee, funny you mentioned that because. Hmm. Konnichiwa, gamers. I think that if you stood behind Keanu Reeves and called out John, he would turn around. Between John Wick, John Constantine, Johnny Mnemonic, Don John, Johnny Utah, John Wall, John Rain, Jonathan Harker, and Johnny Silverhand, I'm willing to bet that some days the poor man has to take a minute. Key Johnu Reeves. 400% of mental illness is thinking that this is probably just how hard life is for everyone, and you just can't handle it because you're a whiny baby who isn't trying hard enough. And then the doctors tell you that it's not the case. It's all fun and games until you fall in love with that video game character. You know the one. Right, Andy? 
fear-based villain who lives a double life as a therapist to learn people's greatest fears and insecurities. That sounds terrifying. Fun fact about me. When I was six years old, I sent so much hate mail to the president, the second Bush, that the mail carrier had to tell my mom I needed to stop before we got FBI'd. Damn, what did that six-year-old say to the president? Oh, you wanted chocolate atop your Boston cream donut? Well, too bad. That chocolate's for the paper bag, you stupid bitch. I wonder if Yuri Lowenthal has an evil twin named Yowie Heinz. Yowie none. The default way for things to taste is good. We know this because tasty means something tastes good. Conversely, from the words smelly and noisy, we can conclude that the default way for things to smell and sound is bad. Interestingly, there are no corresponding adjectives for the sense of sight and touch. The inescapable conclusion is that the most ordinary object possible is invisible and intangible, produces a hideous cacophony, smells terrible, but tastes delicious. And yet this description matches no object or phenomenon known to science or human experience. So, what the fuck? This is what ancient Greek philosophy is like. Cannot believe that a 70-year-old senator actually uttered the phrase ignorant slut about Bernie Sanders on the Senate floor. So what actually happened was Senator Kennedy said to near a tandem, you basically called Bernie Sanders everything but an ignorant slut, which apparently is a reference to an SNL sketch from 1970s, which is odd, but also not completely batshit crazy. But what is crazy? Is that Senator Lindsey Graham in the background, who was not actively part of the conversation, then interrupted to respond with, Well, I wouldn't say ignorance. So whilst technically no senator referred to Bernie Sanders as an ignorant slut, Senator Lindsey Graham did quite state firmly that he is in fact a slut. Just a very knowledgeable one. Might fuck around and teach the crows the difference between humans and scarecrows so that your puny games of deceptions are futile. Cool. I heard from a Discord server that pill bugs remove heavy metals from the soil, so I made this meme and posted it there. And guess what? Nobody reacted or responded to it. I will not let my comedic genius be ignored! Andy, put some, put a little bit of doom music inside that bug for him. Thanks. But everything turned upside down when a new guy came to town. I will admit I am not immune to pretty girls. Or their fire spells. It's hot. You know, I could be the person writing one-time verification codes. 873726-290971-041452-667656. It just comes naturally to me. They look so good. Life hack to get artists to draw for you. Find the commissions page and give them money. Wow, this hack really works. It's real. I've done it. Probably bad RPG ideas. The elemental plane of pointless bullshit. The source of Karen's power revealed. Isn't this also just the wheel of wild magic? Wait a second! Moby Barbie? In my Barbie movie? Those cowards wouldn't say Barbie dick. <laughs> hey guys, I found a picture of Amphro sitting down last night and I'm losing my fucking mind! Fucking astounding! Oh my god, look at the way she sits!